In astrophotography, in order for you to capture the finest photos, you first need the most expensive equipment. Or do you? Sharpstar Optics just proved that last statement incorrect with their latest release, the ASCAR 71F Flat Field Refractor. Maybe you're wondering why this telescope is any good if it even is, and that's why you came to this video. Or maybe this was just selected next on your YouTube autoplay, but for whatever reason you're here, please make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and comment on this video to help boost this video in the YouTube algorithm, because that'll really help grow the channel. The first notable thing that personally caught my attention about this telescope was the fact that it's priced at only $599. Although that might seem like a lot to some, APO refractors are generally priced ranging from $900 to $1200. That is, if it doesn't exceed 80 millimeters of aperture size. However, that cheaper price could potentially raise some suspicions. Why would it be so cheap? That must mean that it's poorly made, right? Although this telescope is priced in an affordable range, it has high quality optics including one ED lens which practically eliminates all chromatic aberration. It doesn't feel like it was built with cheap materials and the overall design of it just feels well done. Talking about the features, this telescope definitely offers a handful. It has two finder scope mounting brackets and one handlebar that can also be used to carry your accessories. It has a rotating focus tube so you can get the perfect field of view for your astro image. It has a dual speed focuser specifically designed to be compatible with practically any electronic focusing unit you choose to use. On top of that, it has a sliding dew shield to protect your lens from any disturbing outside light sources that could potentially cause a gradient in your image. Personally, I use my ASCAR 71F flat field refractor on a Skywatcher GTI mount, and due to its lightweight body, I'm able to attach all of my accessories without actually overloading my mount with too much weight. So if you don't have too much money to potentially buy a really expensive mount, this telescope is definitely a good choice for if you don't want to spend too much money on your bank account because you have other bills to pay. In the box you'll find the telescope optical tube, well obviously, a 45 degree erecting prism for visual purposes and both a 8mm and 20mm eyepiece for if you don't intend on using this telescope for astrophotography. And for those who do plan on using it for imaging, it comes with a few extension tubes and adapters for you to more easily attach your astro dedicated cameras. This telescope has a focal length of 490mm, which is great if you want to get up close and personal with your favorite deep sky object. But the problem is that when you combine that 70mm aperture with the 490mm focal length, it brings you to a focal ratio of f6.9. However, to combat that and also allow for a wider field of view, Sharpstar Optics actually recently announced that they would be releasing a 0.75x field reducer for the ASCAR 71F flat field telescope, allowing for shorter imaging time and a wider field of view. But without that focal reducer, don't let the idea of having f6.9 put you off. Let's take a look at an image that was taken with only 9 hours of data, and when you do, make sure that you pay close attention to the details of the stars, the details of the deep sky object itself, and the contrast of the deep sky object against the night sky. 